Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. It's JoJo, and we're in Canada. Now, I'm here for my grandpa's funeral, but we're not focused on that right now. This is Laurent Day. Laurent, I'm going to figure out how to properly say that. It's one of Canada's largest theme parks. It's right by Montreal. My mom actually recommended I come out here and check out this place. I looked at the reviews. Apparently, it's a very bad theme park. We're going to go in there, see what the vibes are, see what the rides are like, services, all that jazz, and I'll give you a honest review from an American who loves going to theme parks. I'm talking Disney World, Universal, SeaWorld, Universal Hollywood, Disneyland, Tokyo Disneyland, Shanghai Disneyland. I've been to a lot of great theme parks, so I feel like I can give a pretty good review of this spot. But the first thing we have to figure out is something kind of embarrassing. I flew from Orlando straight to here, which means I have my suitcase. Can they accommodate a guest? Do they have lockers? I found a nice team member. He's bringing me to the locker location. And he told me, we're gonna see if there's a locker big enough to fit this guy. And if not, I'll pay the fee and then I can leave it at the front desk. So right away, plus one point for La Ronde. Okay. It's gonna be close. It might be able to fit. Wow, look at that. It all fits in there, we're good to go. Shout out Laurent. I feel like a new man. I feel like I'm not a tourist anymore. I am Canadian. <laughs> now we have to buy our tickets, which is all done online. Website is in French. The location of this place, by the way, is pretty cool. We are on St. Helens Island. There's a Biosphere Environment Museum on this island as well. Yeah, the whole website's in French. I don't know how to buy a ticket. Oops. My mom tried teaching me French when I was in high school. I took two years of it, barely passed the class. I was a horrible student. My mom speaks fluent French. I need an adult. Okay, literally, I'm assuming we're just gonna go for the cheapest one and hopefully that gets us in. Oh my gosh, they have Apple Pay. We're making our way in to La Ronde. <laughs> I'm so hyped. I love how basic the logo is. It's giving Wawa vibes, honestly. Making our way in, we got security check right here. Just walking on through, and then we just scan our code. Awesome, thank you. You too. <laughs> wow, we did it, everybody. We made it into Le Ronde. <laughs> Where do I go? There's a subway here. What is this place? Why are there seagulls? I guess we are on an island, technically. Dang. This is an old park, by the way. It's weird because Canada is so close to America. I almost forget that I'm international, technically, right now. But sometimes it doesn't feel like that. If you didn't know, I used to come to Canada all the time as a kid to visit my family. It's crazy to think I was able to get in here not knowing any French. Theme parks all just have the same code. It's packaged differently. Okay, I'm looking for fast pasts. Maybe people are waiting in front of a booth over there. That could be a fast pass station right there. I just need to find someone who's cool and ask them what's a good ride. Excuse me, guys, English? Do you speak English? Yeah. Uh, what's a good ride here? I, I, what's? Goliath. Yeah, the Goliath. The Goliath, where's that? Uh, Straight that way? Well, that's a good. So oh, you follow uh, all over when there's yeah. a lot of like, uh, how can I say, a lot of stores. Yeah. Like you go to the left and you keep. Gotcha. Go to the dark and you just go and Perfect, go. Goliath. Yeah, Goliath. Thank you, guys. Well, no when you'll be at the end, you'll see the monster and. Okay, bad. Yeah. A name is good enough for me. Thank you guys, have a good day. Quick pause in today's video to thank the sponsor, you guys. If you want to support this channel directly, the best way of doing it is by joining me on Patreon. I post a bunch of exclusive content there. My sister vlogs there. It's a good time. On the screen right now, I'm thanking some different Patreon members. Appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll talk to you on that app. Maybe next time I could come back with some friends and do an all rides challenge. But today we're literally just exploring. We have Dino Park here. Don't get confused for Dino Land. I'm assuming this is the kids area. <laughs> this is so fun. I don't even need to go on any rides today. I just love 
seeing this spot, okay, so we have a pretty long line here for something. Oh, it's like a little ride up there. Barnstormer, wild mouse ride almost. It's giving Goofy Sky Coaster. That is so adorable. It's a boat ride. <laughs> With the little ones. I'm definitely not getting on any of these rides, even though they kind of look fun. My goal today is to explore this whole park and see everything and try to figure out why it gets such a bad rep. Right now, it doesn't seem too rough. Maybe just because it's a crowded park, because that does seem like a very long line for a kiddie ride. But then again, sometimes people wait up to 40 minutes for kiddie rides in Disney World. Not gonna lie, that kind of slaps. What are you talking about? I want to go on that. Roar, big dino. <laughs> the Sani Coca-Cola umbrellas. These seagulls are crazy though. Oh my gosh, back off. Oh my god, they're fighting each other. Oh my god, they're kind of vicious. I'm kind of scared of them. Jeet would be freaking out right now. We have a dino burgers over here. Not really hungry right now. And this doesn't look too appetizing, but hey man, I could be wrong. It could be the best spot in Montreal. I'm kind of sad I came here on a Friday because it's probably one of the most busiest days, Friday and Saturday. Let's see, we got a BLT burger. Oh, they have poutine here. I love poutine, I forgot. That's a normal thing that Canada has, especially in Montreal. I used to get poutine here all the time. Burgers, french fries, dino nuggets. That's fire. Okay, that's a, that's a plus one. The fact that they're selling dino nuggets in a theme park, insane. This place is massive. I can't believe we're on an island right now. I see a wooden roller coaster in the distance. I'll try to go on that ride today. Basically just the big coasters is what we're aiming for. What is this line? I thought the line was on the other side. Maybe it's a fast pass entrance? Is this a log flume ride right here? Oh, it is. It's actually really hot out. Perfect day for it. Toboggan Nordic. So I guess whatever line we saw earlier wasn't for the right ride, because this is the toboggan ride. This makes a little more sense, you know? Again, long line. I wish I could tell you how long this way would be. I'm gonna assume it's at least a 20 to 40 minute wait. I have a lot of people staring at me with my camera. Am I sticking out because of my camera? Or can they tell I'm American with my accent? Oh, Aqua Twist. It spins and you can shoot people? Wait, that's kind of dope. What are you talking about? And while they're shooting people, people not on the ride can also shoot you. I feel like it's a pretty interactive ride. Sometimes when I go to new theme parks, at least I have an idea of like what's around. But I found out about this theme park 10 hours ago and they have a freaking poutine express. We're getting poutine, hands down. If I don't get poutine, it's a dumb mistake. Poutine is french fries covered in gravy and other different sauces. They have a poutine booth in Disney Springs. So some of you might have tried it before. That kid is crying. That wooden roller coaster looks pretty impressive. Or pretty long at least, look at that. That's crazy, we have to go on that. Anyway, this is the log flume ride. Oh, they're running like one vehicle at a time. You can see it over there. It is very basic. You are literally going up and around. It's giving like roller coaster tycoon vibes. But we're never gonna see how big the splash is. Oh my gosh, look, they're shooting each other. I don't know. I'm not not hating this place right now. I mean, Maybe it's bare bones, but it's getting the job done. A lot of people are here. It is kind of strange to see the highway with all the cars in the distance, kind of reminding me of Tokyo, specifically uh, Osaka Universal. I think I'm out of the zone of the splash. Let's see, here we go. Yeah, you definitely get wet. Reminds me of Dorney Park right now. Dorney Park is a theme park I used to frequent Hello. with my family in Pennsylvania. Hello. Bonjour. <laughs> and those girls just asked me for my YouTube channel. Making a new Canadian demographic of this video. Oh, okay. This looks like something. Avenue Adventure. Pirate, Condor, Phoenix. They're playing American music though. <laughs> I think they're playing Morgan Wallen right now. 
I'm surprised I knew that. This ride looks absolutely terrifying. What the heck is this? This might be the ride those guys are talking about. Oh yeah, monster. Should we just go on it? So the line looks really long, but they do have the flash pass. You scan this QR code, and then apparently you can buy a flash pass. This is the flash pass menu. The wait's about an hour and 30 minutes. Cool, you can actually see the wait times. Wait, the wait times aren't too bad right now. Five minutes, 15 minutes. The nice team member here told me, so standard is basically you still wait in the line, but you don't have to wait in the line. So I can buy this, wait the hour 30, but walk around and then come back. Deluxe is I wait half the time and I can walk around. Or ultimate, which is 125 per person, is I can go straight on the line. So when everyone's complaining about Disney and stuff, I feel like I like how accessible this system is, but I don't like how expensive it is, you know? $65 to just basically have a DAS pass. I don't know, you guys gotta let me know down below. Is that something you'd like to have in our theme parks? What am I gonna do? I mean, I have a lot to explore, so I could do the standard. Walking around for an hour 30 isn't too bad. I'm not trying to do too many rides today, so. Dang, if I was here with anybody, I would just wait, you know? But I'm by myself. So I think I'm gonna get the $65 per person one and then just explore, maybe find a drink. I completely forgot conversion rates. So 65 Canadian is $48.14 United States dollars. So that makes me feel better about getting the fast pass for this ride. I mean, we gotta go on it. Look how sick this looks. So we're actually using the flash pass queue right now in a crazy turn of events. Someone recognized me from YouTube. He didn't want to be on the vlog, but he's like, hey, I have a season pass. I get two flash passes per day. Do you want me to scan you on? And, he, and I was like, no way, really? He's like, yeah. So we get to go on and we don't even have to spend the money. And honestly, now we might not in general because the other wait time seemed pretty low. So I don't mind waiting in that. This is crazy. Also, I found out the Dino Land is actually new. It came out this year. Pretty cool view of the park and you can see the bridge in the distance as well. Dino Land is in that direction. I can see the Dino Burger spot we just walked from. There's a whole nother area over here we need to check out. They're pretty cool. I definitely think this would have been an hour 30 wait though because we're in the fast pass lane and we've been waiting for a minute now. Well, probably five, 10 minutes in the sun. It's hot. The loading process takes a little bit. You only got one, maybe two coasters going at a time. It's been about 24 minutes. We're still waiting. I don't mind though. They're playing great music. They got Selena Gomez, Miley Cyrus. I see some boxes over there so I can put my stuff down. So there are two coasters running on each side. So this is specifically just for the blue. The yellow is a whole different track, which the fast pass lane doesn't get you access to. There's no issues. It's just literally one coaster at a time. Here it comes back. I think we'll make it in the next like two or three. This is probably gonna end up being a 35 to 40 minute wait. Granted, I'm happy I'm doing it. I'm really thankful I had someone get me to the fast pass, so I'm not complaining. I'm just informing you guys of my experience. Very different than a theme park in Orlando. And honestly, no one here is grumpy or mad. They're chilling. I guess they're used to this wait. If anything, we had to merge lines back there, right over here. And there was no team member. We had to do it by ourselves, and everyone was very disrespectful. So, yeah. The coaster seems to be stuck. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That guy had to push it himself. <laughs> I have never seen that. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, what a man he was. <laughs>
<laughs> We're gonna talk about this, hold on. The monster is crazy, it truly is a monster. This ride opened in 1985, and one of the other sides opened up in 1986. This is one of the oldest rides in this theme park, and I can freaking feel it. This is the tallest two-track wooden roller coaster in the world. If I was comparing this to another ride, I would say Iron Gwazi in Busch Gardens, Tampa, Florida. But Iron Gwazi is new and has metal in it as well. This was absolutely thrilling in a scary way. The minute you take off, you are rocking back and forth. It feels old. It feels like the coaster is about to break while you're, you're on it. I mean, the guy had to push it back into the track. I'm sure they run tests and I heard it goes down a lot because they have to fix it. But holy cow, I am glad I went on that. I have never experienced anything like that. Just because it's so old and thrilling and rickety. In the POV I have, you see me shaking a lot. If you guys have watched my channel, I've gone on Iron Gwazi and the footage is pretty smooth, you know? No. It is just so rocky. You'd be going left, but because it's so rickety and old, you get flung to the right. And that was wild. I would totally go on it again. I kind of want to go on the other track now as well. And the views up there were absolutely stunning. So, for thrill junkies like me, love it. For someone who's afraid of roller coasters, that might be the most terrifying thing you could ever do. <laughs> if you're ever in uh, Montreal, definitely don't skip on that ride. With the Fast Pass, that still took about 33 minutes to get on. I can't even imagine how long the regular line is taking right now. We have Soch, hashtag Soch. Seems like a frozen treat area. And we just got carnival games, some carnival rides. We're gonna keep exploring. Mucho Nacho Churros. We gotta find a bar, I want a drink. Wow, they actually have so much crazy stuff here. What is this? Pastries. Look at this, guys. That's stuff you don't see in our theme parks. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Brownie, pistachio. Looks yum. Very sweet. I need food first. Classic horrible spinny ride. The demon. This ride's fun. Ooh, wait. This one goes left and right. Oh, wow. We're on like different angles here. It's not only are you going up and down, you're rotating left and right. Dude, that's crazy. I mean, that would make me sick. Yeah, that... Normally, I would say let's go on it, but I don't really want to get a headache right now. I just flew. I'm on like four hours of sleep. I feel like this would put me in a coffin, but it looks fun. And if I'm being honest, no one's here to record me. If someone was with me, I'd go on it so they could just record me. But if it's just me, I know what that's going to feel like. I don't need to go on that. Oh, this could be a thumbnail. It's definitely giving Six Flags vibes. I used to go to Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey when I was in high school with my friends Jimmy Lugier, Andy Maziars, Matt Carroll. Good group, good vibes. Zombies? What the heck? I wonder if they do Halloween events here. They must. Every theme park does these days. Okay, I see polite ETC, fillets, burgers, and poutine. I love how poutine is such a staple here. It makes me happy. By the way, my dad texted me. He was wondering where I was, and I took a selfie of this area, and he instantly knew where I was. And apparently, I've been here as a little kid. Now, did I have fun? My dad didn't want to tell me. Oh, speaking about Halloween, geez, Louise, I think I found some Halloween stuff. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> this place is pretty big. This looks like a haunted house right in front of us. I actually like it. Le Cirque Diablo 3D. Definitely looks like a haunted house. I'm low-key sad I'm not gonna be able to experience whatever the heck happens in here. From me filming this video, there's about a week until Halloween Horror Nights. Ooh, okay, Oasis. Cocktails. <laughs> no line for this spot. We're grabbing a drink. Fun fact, 
They have Bloody Caesars here. My first ever illegal drink when I was 18 was in Montreal at the Sheraton Laval and I got a Bloody Caesar. So, turn up. We got the celery, alcohol, all the beers on tap over there. All things I like. This is my happy place. Theme park bars. I wish like Matt or Ferris was here, man. I know I'm only here for two days and I'm here for sad reasons, so I would have not invited any of my friends. But it'd be pretty cool to be with them right now. I'd love to hear their opinion about this place. Maybe we come back. If this video gets 1,500 likes, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll force my friends to come. It's a big celery piece. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yo. Come to think about it, I was gonna order food, but honestly, with all these garnishes, I, I think I'll be good. Now, the difference between a Bloody Mary and a Bloody Caesar is that Bloody Caesars use Clamato juice. This drink is filled to the brim. It was spilling as I was bringing it to the table. It's funny but sad. Grandpa JP would have loved to watch this vlog because I'm in his home, you know? But I'm hoping that he's watching from up above. This is a really full circle moment because when I got the Bloody Caesar, I had that and then I had a blue beer. I had this really nice old bartender honestly teach me about drinks because up until that point, I never drank. I was a goody two-shoes in high school. I didn't go to parties. One time I went to a party, I got so scared. I called my mom to pick me up at 1 a.m. I remember whose house it was. It was Jillian Chamber. I hope she's doing good, but yeah. I had the drinks and I remember my grandpa JP finding me in the bar and the look on his face, he was so scared. He was like, Diane, my mom's name, like, why is Jonathan drinking? Because, you know, he, he wanted what's best for me. Let's try this. Delicious. I think you guys might think this is gross, but personally for me, I love this. It's basically just like alcoholic tomato soup with like garnishes on it. I will say, the celery stick is kind of intense. It's funny that a Bloody Caesar is the signature cocktail at a bar. You know, like you don't see that in America. The bottom of this drink is where all the alcohol is. This is strong in the end. Mm. Okay, there's the vodka. There it is. Back for round two, we're getting the Molson Canadian lager. Shout out to my bartender. She literally fills this to the freaking rim. I don't want to spill anything. Now, I've been here for about 30 minutes or so, but I haven't just been drinking. I was talking to my dad. It's kind of funny. He usually calls me when he's in Canada to make me feel bad because all my family lives up here. And I just have such a busy schedule. It's hard to visit my family in Canada. But I was like, hey dad, I'm in Canada once, you're not, haha. -ha. Let's try this Canadian lager. Oh, ugh. It's not bad. It's like Canadian Bud Light. It's not bad. I know my face makes a weird face, but honestly, 90% of the drinks I have. That's the face I make. That roller coaster looks fun. And to think that Disney is making something like this soon. I can't really read this, but I'm assuming this is where you can get prime viewing for the fireworks, which they shoot over the lake. You can see Terrace VIP. It's a typical theme park trope. This building right here is kind of vacant. Vacant? Yeah, vacant. That's the right word. Regardless, Cool day, cool day. My battery is at like 25% because I vlogged myself traveling here. If you want, go watch that vlog as well. But yeah, this is the park. We got a popcorn stand right over there. Onella. Onilla. Onilla. Don't know what the vibes of that spot is. There's a couple different booths around here that are promoting their businesses. This is giving Fantasyland vibes. Ooh, we have Goliath. Okay, I did hear about this one. They have Fast Pass. The track looks like Nitro slash Mako from SeaWorld. There's actually a couple good coasters here. It does look kind of busy though. Unfortunately, we're here on a Friday. Oh yeah, look at that coaster. It looks exactly like Mako. I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Mako? 
It's definitely nitro. It's the same exact coaster with the same exact harness. No seat belts, it just clamps on your lap. Oh, I'm gonna love this one. OMG, it got so popping over here so quickly. I smell a barbecue, it's the Sabra. You can read it for yourself. Shishtuk, Grilled Cirque, Sherbon, Merguez, Vegetarian, it smells really good. Gosh darn. I need to eat something. I'm just deciding what I want to eat. Oh, I was about to say, this line seems pretty short. This is for the flash pass entrance. The regular entrance is all the way on the other side. They're playing Taylor Swift right now. Goliath is at a 37 minute wait. I think that will be the last ride we go on. But before we do that, I have more treats over here. Kiss of the Castors pastries. But no, we need to eat. We're getting Finesse Express Poutine. We got the two poutines, combo classic, two hot dogs, fries, hot dogs, fries, soda, cookie. Tons of different combos. I think I'm just gonna get the poutine. You could also get the poutine with a hot dog. Yeah. Oh, right there, see? That's like the main combo. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Poutine. Look at this. It's cheese, gravy, fries. Yummy, we're about to dig in. Get a little bit of everything. Fire. So good. Mmm. I've never had the poutine in Disney World. I don't know if I ever will. But the poutine here, fire. Get away from me. Why is bees always attacking my food? Gosh darn, it's definitely very similar to the roller coasters we've seen in New Jersey and Florida. It's probably the same makers. Look how far back it goes. I love this. We have to go on this. Hands down. I'm about done wrapping up here. Eating my food. It was good. A quick look into the merchandise store. La Ronde sweaters in the back. Yep, typical stuff. I am not buying anything because I do not have enough space in my luggage. Chate Chateau de Bonbon. Oh, Bonbon means some kind of sweet. We got the candy store in here. Ice cream, fudge. More drinks. Pretty dope. Oh my god, aliens. If I had any candy right now, I'd probably blow up. I do like their selection though. Look at all the different Jolly Rancher options. Yum. I love candy. I can eat any of this right now. More lockers. Toilets straight ahead. What is this? Seriously, <laughs> I'm confused. There's a flash pass for it. Maybe nothing? Here's that roller coaster again. Super cute. We got Primo Pizza. I do know that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Subway. Where are we? I'm so lost. I love the architecture of this area, though. I love all the leaves. I feel like I'm in a village. We have Ednor. Another ride coming up here. I'm a little worried because my phone battery is at 32%. My camera battery is at 15%, which means if my camera dies, then I have to use my phone. But if my phone dies, I'm actually stuck and I can't get home. Ednor. Okay, so I think this is the ride we saw right over there. Good to know. This is medieval times. Now, I would love to go on all of these rides, but I was not prepared to go to a theme park today. <laughs> I also haven't done any research. I didn't realize how big this place was gonna be. Wait a second, look at this. They had one of these in Six Flags too. They literally just string you all the way up, they drop you, and then you swing. But this is an additional fee. 
Three passengers, 15. Two passengers, 20. One passenger, 25. What is this line for? Wait, the dragon is, huh? The dragon seems to be an indoor roller coaster. What? That sounds sick. It seems to be more of a family kiddie ride. There definitely is a long line. One thing I can say, long lines for everything. Well, not really. 15 to 40 minutes. They have a Ferris wheel. One thing I really like about this park is how vast and lush it is. I do feel like I'm on an island right now, you know? It's pretty dope. Oh, I think we hit a dead end. Yeah. Can't really go anywhere else other than this Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel doesn't look like it has too long of a line. Here's an example of catapult. They literally just string you up and drop you like a catapult or fling you like a catapult. I've never done this, but I would like to do it. All right, drop them. Oh, yo. That is a Oh my gosh, they're so close to the roller coaster too. Oh, and do it, toi. That's dope. I think the biggest selling point of that attraction is you really just feel like you're falling for a solid three to four seconds. Tim Hortons is a collaborator with the fireworks. That's amazing. If you don't know, Tim Hortons was a hockey player. It's basically the Wawa slash Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks combined together. I used to love going to this place. I guess the park just hits a dead end. I thought it would like rotate in a circle, but nope. Okay. Fair enough. With that being said, I feel like we covered a majority of the theme park. There's still a little bit we have to hit in the center, but before we do that, let's go on this ride. Dang, I want you guys to see this. The wait times have definitely gone up at around 4.35, which makes sense because school's over, school's in session. Goliath was at a 35 minute wait. It's at an hour wait now, monster an hour 22. Even that splash ride we saw earlier, one hour and five minutes. 40 minutes, yeah, wait times are kind of rough. But then again, we've seen similar things at other parks. I really want to go on this ride though, but I don't want to wait an hour, but I also don't want to pay. Hmm. It's an hour and 45 minute wait. That's a long time, especially when I'm by myself also. I think my phone's ringing. My mom's calling, hold on, what you gotta say? Hello, Mom. Um, I'm all right. I'm trying to decide if I want to wait in an hour, 45 minute wait. Where are you? Hotel at 6.30, 4.30, two hours. Okay. Good to know. Sorry? Long as I have a charge. Oh, I mean, I don't have that much charge left, but I'll be okay. I'll meet you there. I'm 25% on my phone, so no stress. I'll see you soon. Love you too, bye. So if I get on that line right now, I will basically be on par, maybe a little bit behind my mom and sister. I don't know why he picked him up. Dang. I want to go on it, I really do. But an hour 45 minute wait by myself, it just doesn't seem the vibe, you know? Or I could spend $90 to go on one ride. I would have gotten the fast pass if I came earlier in the day and I was trying to go on more rides. I don't think we'll be going on it today, guys. That's, that, that's a long way. Not to mention we did use a fast pass lane earlier or sorry, flash pass lane, and I still waited 30 minutes. So that's kind of annoying, because if you're paying a premium, I don't expect to wait, or at least that's what other theme parks have 
given me in the past. We haven't really explored this area. More carnival rides. Turbillion. What is this? Oh, this is the Phoenix. Oh, that's cool. So when you start getting enough speed, you can actually control which way you rotate. Look at that, it's like a sail. <laughs> Wait, that's actually pretty cool. That's fun. Darn. We might have to revisit this park. Again, meant for the families. A little bit of the line. I would assume this is like a 10 to 20 minute wait. Pirate. Literally, you're riding a pirate ship. I don't know what this is called, but it's been used around as you go up. 100% this is where the fireworks happen. We actually have some bleachers here. So all of that over there is not used land. Oh wait, we haven't been over there. I've never seen any of those roller coasters. We gotta check it out real quick. But yeah, I feel like there's area for expansion. It's a cool park. It's definitely a Six Flags. It's not a Walt Disney World, not even a Universal. It's a straight up attractions theme cart. Wow, theme park, there we go. <laughs> Tons of thrill rides. Now this place closes at 9 p.m. tonight. It smells like the ocean right now. We're literally on an island, which is kind of impressive. Oh my gosh, these seagulls are vicious. They're actually aggressive. They're like yelling at the humans. Lots of food options. Popcorn and sai, see? Athena, Greece cuisine. Saloon 1967. Looks like barbecue and chicken to me. We got the poutine location, which they have all over the place. Klondike Comptor Cafe. And apologies to all my French people if I'm butchering these words. Pepite Polyfrit. Pul so maybe more fries. My camera has officially died. So now we're on to the iPhone. <laughs> Our time is running out here in this theme park. These seagulls are a menace. They're all over the place. I really hate that. I really hate when theme parks don't control the animals. There's ways to do it. Disney does it. Universal does it. It's just not fun when you're getting berated by animals. This is weird. <laughs> this is a random shack for Coca-Cola Freestyle. Can I go in? Yeah, I was about to say, it doesn't look like I can go in. I like how they just have a game not operating right now. I keep seeing this Muzu. Oh, it's an ice cream place slash shake spot dope season 2024 event i'm pretty sure when we first came in today they were trying to sell me a ticket right here i can see the halloween stuff the ronde festival de la freyer definitely something around fear halloween it starts October 5th ends October 27th, maybe. <laughs> Here is a park map. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to find one. This is where we walked in. So we started here and then we went through Dino Land, came around. I don't know, we didn't see this stuff over here. We did this ride, we walked all the way through here. Look at how big that roller coaster is. It goes all the way in the back. Came to the Ferris wheel, came back down. And now we're around here. I'm legitimately recognizing rides that I've seen in Six Flags before. They're nothing too unique, but for the area, this is dope. But as someone who goes to a lot of theme parks, most of these rides aren't like making me go, like, I need to ride it. I need to wait an hour and 30 minutes. This is a long line. Drop tower. That's fun. Oh, it would definitely get me dizzy. I would totally go on this. They had something similar like this in Orlando. They put you in this big ball, this cameras, and it shoots you up. I've never done it before. I won't be doing it here, but maybe in Orlando. Let me know down below if you would like me to do that. And then we have one more roller coaster in the corner. 
This one is reminding me of Batman. And wow, as I say that, look at that. It's not Batman, it's called Vampire, but this is, holy crap. This might be an exact replica of Batman from Six Flags and Great Adventure. I could be wrong. So I just scanned this and it gave me the option to buy an individual flash pass for this ride. Am I allowed to just buy individual passes? If that's the case, I will totally go back to that other ride. This really looks like Batman. Like down to like the architecture of the building. I mean, it wouldn't put it past me to think that it's kind of alike because it's from the same company. So I might be missing something, but I tried buying a single pass for Goliath and then it asked me for a username and password, probably. So now we're just walking through here real quick. I just want to see how deep we get into this queue. It said it was a 19 minute wait. It is five o'clock. I am willing to go on this, but I probably wouldn't be able to film it, nor would I really want to. It's a pretty chaotic ride. I do like this queue though, it's very lush. And honestly, I don't even know if I want to go on this just because it hurt my head. I literally feel like I'm in Six Flags. It's a Six Flags in Canada. Yeah, there's a little bit of a line over there. And my hotel is about a 45 minute drive from here. <laughs> I'm honestly just happy to be here and just see the vibes. That's a 19 minute wait, but man, I'm sorry. It's hard to trust that after waiting 35 minutes in the fast pass lane, you know? I think I would recommend if you guys do come here, get the fast pass for all the parks or all the parks, all the rides, which will come out to like 80 per person, maybe 85. This is like the third dead end I've run into. And the right here, what's this? A vertigo? Oh, dang. They have a whole arcade. Look at this virtual reality ride. That's cool. Kind of creepy, but fun. Air hockey, dance dance evolution or some variation of it. Yeah, this is a pretty good family park, you know, to come on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday with the squad, especially if you have an annual pass. I think I'll end my day with some ice cream. I saw a lot of people walking by with it. It looked good. Look how yummy this ice cream looks. Let's try it. Yeah. Eh. I'm good at this. I can go home now. <laughs> well, I'm not going home. I'm going to a hotel. But, same difference. Oh wait, look at this. I didn't even notice this. There's a green QR code. It's a single reservation. Ah, we might be able to do this then. Plus one for this theme park. They helped me figure out how to get flash pass for a single ride, which was only $8 which makes so much more sense. So that Batman ride we saw, or sorry, the vampire ride we saw, we could have bought a single pass for that as well. So that's cool. Instead of forking out like $90 for a full day, you can also individually pick the rides. Now I like the fast pass system, or sorry, the flash pass. I'm excited. This is a great way to end the day. I hope my phone survives. I can't let my phone die. I also spilled ice cream on myself. Bleh. So I find this really interesting. There's no team members telling us where to go. We just have to kind of walk through. So I guess I'm just going to start walking. Yeah. Okay. Kind of a free for all. Just figure out where you want to go. Be respectful and kind. I will say this ride is loading a lot quicker than the other roller coaster we went on. Cause they actually have two coasters going. With all that being said, Goliath, our Uber has arrived. Let's do this. I'm excited. I, I know I'm gonna like this ride already. Open up please, thank you. Hey everybody, this is Jojo from the future. I need to clarify a couple things. One, I don't know if you guys noticed, 
but I am literally about to pass out. I really thought I was built different. I woke up at 5 a.m. and got on the flight, got to Montreal, then traveled another 50 minutes to a theme park and forced myself to have a full theme park day. I don't know if it was because of the loss of my grandpa, I was trying to distract myself and I didn't want to be alone, but man, I am dying like my iPhone. And you can really tell in this next POV on this ride, it's so embarrassing. I literally lose everything and I've done so many rides before. I could have just put down my stuff and not losing my prized possessions, but you'll see for yourself. And I wanted to clarify something. I thought I provided this context in this vlog, but I was delusional and I didn't. The main reason why I'm not waiting in these lines, of course, I don't want to wait in a long line. Of course, I don't want to be by myself, but I came down to Montreal to support my family during this time of loss. And it would have been very negligent of me to get into any of these rides and wait, you know, 40 minutes and then show up late to not only my mom and sister, but my family's dinner. You know, I came down for them, not this theme park. That's why I definitely would like to come back one day and try to go on these rides. But for now, enjoy me losing not only my sanity, my items, but just like my soul. <laughs> enjoy. Wow, this is insane. Oh boy. Oh boy. feeling about that. I just lost my Avengers hat, my favorite hat. I've had it for so many years, but it was old anyway. And I lost my sunglasses, but not my good ones. I had fake sunglasses, so I felt them leaving. My biggest importance, I realized how intense that ride was, was to make sure my camera was okay. The one that died, so that was of the highest importance. I didn't feel comfortable leaving my stuff out here, but I should have, because I just lost everything. But I let, I let the piece of me And with that being said, it's time to go. I'm sad I lost my hat. <laughs> I felt it leaving. I didn't know what to do because I couldn't lose this guy right here. It was slipping out of my pocket. There was no cabinet. It's the jet lag. I wasn't thinking. But at least I have the footage on camera for the rest of the time. RIP 2024, my Avengers hat. I wore that everywhere. I'm not gonna let that ruin my time, but I'm gonna say a 0.5 negative because I'm annoyed. So that was a fun ride, a little intense. You saw my camera keep going into my chest because I was trying to make sure I didn't lose my camera. My other camera. Darn it, I lost my hat, sad. It's okay though. It was a good day. I'm gonna get to the front. My phone's at like 10% battery. And I'll give you my final take. And as far as this theme park goes, it's not bad. It's a theme park. I came in with no expectations. So it's a good time. It, it's not bad. They're trying their best and I think if you're a local to this area, it's good, right? Like it's MBD. Now, if you are- Okay, hold on. You can see them in the distance. Entertainment. I don't know what's going on there. Point is, is that they're trying. It's fun. It's cool. 
I wouldn't go out of my way to come here like other theme parks like Fantasia, which I still want to do. Jojo in the future again. I'm now just a translator for Sleep Deprived Jojo. It's a good park for the locals. Awesome for kids coming out to school during the summer. They give certain discounts to residents of the area. As far as someone visiting from out of the country, I don't think it's worth it to plan a trip around it. Kind of like me, if you're there, you're there, cool, fine, but it's just a regular old theme park with some awesome roller coasters, but you're not gonna get that entertainment aspect of Walt Disney World or Universal, which I wasn't expecting. If you come in to this area going like, hey, I just wanna go on some rides, buy some overpriced food and drinks, you're gonna have a good time. But if you're like, I need to go here, I want the best experience, it's not gonna be that great. Is it the worst Canadian theme park? I mean, I haven't been to other Canadian theme parks. It's okay. Like my uncle didn't like it, but personally, if I'm trying to be fair as an American, it was fun, but nothing worth going out of your way for. So it's not the worst, but it's also not the best. But I had a good time and I wouldn't mind coming back one day with my friends. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive. RIP Avengers hats. And next up, meeting up with my mom and sister. So that'll be fun. Au revoir. We out.